Hey guys, Beltrex Pretzel here, and welcome back to another speed build. So this is Scarlet's Paradise. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom that I built on a 30 by 20 lot, and it comes out to 132,550 simoleons. Uh, just so you guys know, the photo of this house on the gallery is of the side of the house and not the front of the house. Um, so you guys might not be able to recognize it right away uh, when you're on the gallery. I mean, you'll recognize it by the name, but yeah. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, so for once, I wanted a house that actually sort of blended in to its neighborhood. So I tried to slightly base it off of the house next door. Um, it doesn't have a roof hanging over the porch, but it does have a nice big porch with, I think I use the same fencing as the house next door, but in a different color. I use sliding uh, as well, like it does in the house next door, and I just wanted to try and bring those cohesive looks to this house so it'll fit in perfectly into the cheaper part of Willow Creek. Um, is, that what it's, is that what the neighborhood's called? Willow Creek? I want to say that's what it's called. I could be completely wrong. Anyways, it's a relatively big house considering the lot. I mean, a lot of the space taken up on the lot is for the front uh, garden and the balcony because the backyard is teeny tiny, but it was actually perfectly sized for what I wanted to do with it, so I'm quite happy with it. I fuss around a lot <laughs> with the exterior paint. Um, I don't remember if I change it before or after the furnishing, but I know I do change it at some point. I just wasn't happy with the blue sliding and the stone. Um, as you guys saw from the screenshot, it does end up being blue sliding and stone, but it's a different kind of stone that just sort of blends in better and just looks better with the um, with the blue sliding. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm working on the floor plan. It took me a while <laughs> to get a floor plan that I liked. Uh, cause at first, I think I was going to do a two-bedroom house. I wanted it to be a couple and their kid. But then I decided, you know what, let's just make it a one-bedroom with a nice big office. Uh, yeah. Here we go, putting in those windows. Once I figure out... Oh, no. There we go. This is me trying to find something else for the wallpaper. Just really wasn't happy with it. And, okay, wait. This is not the t Okay, I guess I go through the wallpaper like two or three times then. Because it doesn't look like I've changed it yet. I think I changed the foundation before I changed to the stone that I like. I could be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, going to ignore my phone. Um, there we go, yeah, that's what, that's what it was. I was going to start on the landscaping, but then I decided that I really wasn't happy with how the outside looked. So I tried to do brown, beige, and stone. And it looks, it, like, the colors are nice together, but it didn't look good for this house. Um, so here I am trying to figure out a different kind of stone that might look good with the um, blue sliding. And don't worry, I don't stick with this. Um, it's... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not fantastic either. Um, I go sort of with the tiny, not tiny pebble stones, but sort of look like large pebbles, I guess. I don't know, you guys, you guys will see it better when you guys download this house, or in one of the screenshots anyways. Um, so here we go, I'm going to start off with the landscaping. Usually it's one of those things that I keep for the very end, but I don't know, I was in a mood to landscape. <laughs> um... I'm just closing off flower beds with some rocks. I like the look of this. I don't always do the rocks, but I, I feel like I often do whenever I do a big flower bed sort of area. It just looks very nice together. Um, and then for a more realistic look, I actually you know, changed the color of the... Uh, I used terrain paint to sort of add some dirt around the base of the house as if like grass couldn't grow there. I actually was pretty detail-oriented with this build uh, compared to other builds. Um, anyways, oh no, we're, we're still a couple seconds away from meeting with family, never mind. 
um, yeah, so just putting in a bunch of flowers, trying to make the colors sort of blend together. Uh, there are some color differences between both flower patches, but they're still, they still look quite nice together when you look at the two of them all together. The same plants, just color differently anyways. Let's meet the sim. <laughs> Nope, I'm sorry, let's not meet the sim. Um, when I edited this, I just sort of did it really quickly. And when I clicked on this video file, I saw that we were in uh, item mode. So I was like, okay, let's put the family in here, that clip there. But I should have actually paid more attention to what's going on in the video because it wasn't time to meet the family. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so here we go. I did some more landscaping, working on the pathway now. Okay, so something really weird happened with the pathway. When I saved when I saved this house, uh, so I can post it to the gallery, it saves perfectly with the um, with this path fully in. So when you guys download this house, this path should be here. But when I moved my sim in to take the screenshots, that path sort of just disappeared. So in the screenshots, you're not gonna see the stone pathway. But when you guys downloaded it, download this house, it should be there. So. Sorry about that, it's a little weird. Um, I would have fixed it, but I'm recording this before I go off to work, so I don't actually have time. I didn't have time to fix um, the path before taking the screenshots, uh, because it would have taken me a couple of minutes, just because of how... Um, I don't want to say detailed, but because I'm lining it with dirt, it sort of takes a couple extra minutes than just painting it on there. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but it, like I said, just just in the screenshots, when you guys download the house, it'll be there. So, nothing to worry. <laughs> um, so the backyard, I didn't really want to fence it in, and if I did fence it in, I would lose one square of space all around, which just wouldn't have been okay with me. Um, and I want a nice little archway that will lead to the backyard. I'm assuming your sims can walk through the archway even though it's a wedding arch and worst comes to worst if they can't there are stairs all around the porch so it's not going to take you much longer to go up the stairs and down the stairs plus there's a back door so you can just walk through the house um, yeah <laughs> anyways once I delete those hedges we're gonna meet the sims all right, let's meet the sim that will be moving into this house. So for this house, I decided I only wanted one sim. As I was furnishing the house, I had a really clear idea of who I wanted living in here. So, and if, uh, sorry, and a family just wasn't it. Uh, so this is Scarlett Saldana. She has the Renaissance, Renaissance Sims aspiration. She's creative, outgoing, and a bookworm. She's sort of like going to be a jack of all trades. She's going to play musical instruments. She's going to paint. She's going to learn to program. She's going to learn to repair things. She's going to work up her logic skill. She sort of wants to focus all her attention on all of her skills. Um, if she has a job, she's probably going to quit and then start a new one right, like, right away. She's not the kind of sim that wants to be at the same place forever. So... Yeah, uh, let's take a look at her outfits. So this is her everyday outfit. Next up we have her formal, her athletic, her sleepwear, her party wear, and her swimwear. Uh, so that's the sim. If you guys would like to see, eventually, when the time comes after I've finished the two Let's Plays I'm currently working on, or at least one of them. Uh, if you guys would like to see a Let's Play with Scarlet in it, let me know. It would be the kind of thing where there would be a lot of gameplay involved. Because, like I said, if she has a job, she won't you know, stay there forever and she's very focused on her skills. So she'd be a very outgoing sim. She'd probably go out drinking every other night. She'd spend... Her days writing or painting or reading or programming, playing video games, whatever it is. Um, but she'd want to meet someone new at least once a day. Um, she'd probably be a little bit of a flirt. She She's not really looking for any relationships. She's in no rush to have kids. And she's the kind of sim who'd be okay not having sims. You know, it's not something that's worrying her. Um... But yeah, let me know if you guys be, would be interested in seeing a Let's Play with her in it. Anyways, let's get back to the house. 
All right, now that we've met Scarlet, um, I'm assuming the name of the house now makes more sense since her name is Scarlet, and we are currently working on the backyard. So when I first started furnishing this house, I figured it would be probably two Sims, like a couple living together um, who didn't have kids. So I sort of, you know, lots of seating because in my head, you know, there's more than one Sim living here. Uh, but as I got more into the furnishing, it felt more like a single sim home, like Scarlett's home, and she was sort of the perfect sim personality to live in here. But as she is an outgoing sim, so maybe she, she'll throw a lot of parties, so there's a large amount of seating, which works out perfectly. Um, yeah, next up, I think I'm working all around the porch, trying to fill that in. I put a lot of plants and a couple of benches because, well... What the heck else am I going to put here? This is what I always do, because I just I don't know what else to put there. Um, yeah, I put a couple of plants climbing up the wall, and then I do put a little potted plant at the bottom to make it look like it's not growing out of nowhere. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple exterior decorating, just a bunch of plants, really. <laughs> I really wish there were more items for the patio. Like, I really... I know I mention this a lot. I just... I, I never know what to put up there. I never have any ideas for it. If you guys have any ideas of what I could do to my porches to sort of liven them up and change them up a little bit, please leave a comment about what you guys think I should do. That'll be really helpful. <laughs> um, Yeah. Finally, working on the interior after I pick a tile for the bathroom, which actually took me... A surprisingly long time I was so picky when I did this house like I'd put so much more detail than I normally do and I, so I'm just I was just so picky um this house I was actually talking to my boyfriend because we wanted to do some stuff yesterday which is when I finished building this house um just so you guys know I took the screenshots this morning which is why I didn't have time to fix it it that just I this is a several day um, build <laughs> because I don't like sitting down for seven hours at a time and sometimes I can't anyways my boyfriend's like you know asking me about how long he thought uh, I thought this would take to furnish and I was like oh, I probably have an hour left in build mode I think this took me two hours because I started off with the bathroom as you guys can see and I put a lot of decorative items a lot more than I normally do and I was like well I decorated the bathroom so well I have to do this for every room because I want it to look cohesive. I don't want one room to look super decorated and then the next room to just be completely bland and boring and empty. Um, you know, there has to be a cohesive design to this house. Unless multiple sims live in a house and multiple personalities, I feel like it's really weird to have different styled rooms and differently decorated rooms and have one messy one clean room that just seems a little off to me so though so it would be really cool to have a house where every single room has a different style theme to it that would actually be really really cool i don't know how i can make that make sense with the sims living in there but i feel like i should try to do that i think i feel like that would be really really cool anyways moving on i'm working on the office space so, like I said before, I originally intended this to be for a couple, hence why I put two desks and two computers, but once the furnishing sort of told me a personality, it sort of made sense having two computers. Um, like I said, she does; she's going to practice her programming skills, so she can have one computer that she messes around with, different programmings, with coding, with whatever, and then she can have her second computer that she uses just for downtime, relaxing, writing, whatever it is that she wants to do. Um, and here I am decorating the desks. Don't worry, I don't put all those card holders. I just needed to fill up the spaces so I could use the move objects um, and place something exactly where I wanted it on the desk. Uh, yeah, put a couple of books, put some files in there, a bunch of plants, just a bunch of decorative items. <laughs> And then I'm lighting it up. I put a lot of floor lamps in this build. I think I have, I want to say three floor lamps, which is more than my usual zero. <laughs> so that was something. 
like I said, I went all out with the decorations, or at least I did for me. I put curtains in every room. That's something else that I don't normally do, as you guys know. I put a nice little carpet in there. I think it fit perfectly with that room. Um, yeah, and now I'm just trying to fill up the wall space a little bit so that it doesn't look so empty. Next up, we have her bedroom. So here we go. I put the uh, bed by the bay window area, a nice purple bed. Lots of dressers. Uh, I do ke I, I keep all three dressers, but I do move one around at some point really soon. Um, I only say really soon because this is sped up 12 times. Oh yeah, I do take a break from the bedroom to work on the living room a little bit because I didn't know what skill items I wanted in which room. And the, depending on which ones I had to wear, that would really influence the position of all the furnishings. So I needed to take a break from the bedroom. As you guys know, I usually like to work one room at a time and then sort of, yeah, I usually start and finish one room and then move on to the next one. Um, so I didn't do that this time, but usually I have multiple Sims living in a house. So skill building items are usually either in the living room or in the bedroom and I sort of know exactly where they're going to go. Anyways, I had to move one of the dressers so that the easel could be by a window because I feel like I mean, there's nothing wrong with painting while facing a blank wall, but, I mean, it also depends what kind of painting you're doing. I mean, in this case, you won't get much natural light on the canvas, but she can have a view of the outdoors if she wants to paint the house next door or just paint something on the exterior. That was, that was my thought behind it, that she likes to paint what she sees outside. Um, you know what? I wish I did. I wish I'd put an easel somewhere on the balcony. I mean, we all know there's room for that. Um, yeah. Anyways, here we go. Working on the living room, working on the little coffee table. I really wanted a square round table, but I wasn't really liking those two round tables that came with the parenthood pack. I didn't really like them for this room. I didn't find that they fit in really well, so I just stuck two tables together. And I thought that, I thought that worked out pretty well. Um, decorating it, honestly I didn't know what the heck to put on there, so I put like a random box, I put a stack of cooking books, like of all things. I don't know, I was just trying to fill up the space. Uh, so she has all her instruments, all her two instruments lined up in that little hallway corner off of the living room. I probably should have stuck a violin somewhere in there, but whatever, you guys can add one in if you guys feel the need to have a violin there. Um, yeah. I really like those clear curtains. I feel like they add so much more detail when you add a big curtain around it, or like I did, big thick curtains in the middle. Oh, I feel like they just add so much. Oh, by the way, I tested this in the game. The curtains I put over the archways and the doors, uh, the doors are still totally usable. I, I figured that they would be. I figured your sim could walk through them, but I just wanted to make absolutely sure that the sim could go through it, and she can. Um, no problems about that. I made her walk in from the front door to the living room, and then from the living room through the back door to the backyard, so it's all completely usable. And I'm assuming since it works from the dining room to the living room that you could go from the dining room to the kitchen. <laughs> if you can't, then that would just be shocking. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the entry. I keep it really simple. I put a couple of clothes, some mirrors, and a shoe rack. Um, and then, yeah, a table. I think I put some more mail on there and uh, a box of Kleenex and maybe a flower or something. Um, yeah, a couple of plants in there. Yeah, keep it really simple. And then, obviously the lighting, and then I move on to the kitchen, which is the last room that we furnish in this house. And, oh boy, I had such a hard time with the kitchen. At the beginning, it just looked so awkward, and it... It goes through a lot of awkward phases. I really, really wanted an island counter in there, and I do end up putting one. But it took a lot of <laughs> moving things around um, to get a kitchen that actually did not look super freaking awkward. Because it is quite a thin kitchen for an island, sort of in the middle, uh, which is what I wanted to do. And then I thought, you know what, maybe I'll do a cute little design and wasn't enough room for it either. It's just sort of a big <laughs> mess of things. Um, yeah. 
don't worry. I, I, I get it eventually. I, I make it look eventually. Um, I, I, I swear, I really do. So here I am. I keep moving things around, trying to just make everything fit better. And, um... Yeah, that's what I do. I think this is pretty much how I leave it. I decided not to put a, the stove in the middle of the island, which personally I think looks really, really cool. But I decided against it. It just that was just too much island counter to have the stove be part of it, so I just didn't go with that. Uh, so I just put two seats around the island because I still want you know your sim to be able to navigate the house, to be able to navigate the kitchen, um, and yeah, that's it for this build. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit subscribe, check out my other videos, um, check out the gallery. There's a link in the description below to where you can find all my builds and all my households. Um, my female sims look all look very, very much alike, but that's just sort of because I really suck at create a sim, specifically the part where you edit sim facial details. So once I have a sim that I like how they look, I sort of just recycle that sim over and over again. I know it's bad, it's a habit I need to break, but I'm just so bad I create a sim. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you guys have a, or had a good Monday since I'll be posting this closer to the end of the day. I'm gonna post it once I'm back from work because I just do not have time to do that this morning. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys had a good Monday, hope you guys have a good week, and thank you guys for, so much for watching, I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.